What's up guys, welcome back. I'm gonna show you how to get another free UGC item today. This is the item right here, the soda drinking hat. Now you can see when you wear it, this is what it looks like when you wear it. It seems to fit pretty well and line up right. So Dave and Buster's World is the name of the game. I've got the link in the description of the video. So down there in the middle of the screen where it says click to ready, click on that and then it's gonna pop up some different games for you to play. So there's four new zombie survival games. So we're gonna go through and what we need to do is basically get through all four of the zombie survival survival games so this is the first one it is the uh, metro level some of them are longer than others they're kind of challenging but they're they're easy uh, as well they're they're doable I didn't die on any of these but it got really close several times you can see uh, when you see any of the health uh, squares try to shoot those so you can get more health there's also some for shields you want to shoot those and get more shields some of these guys jump at you uh, try to make sure you aim just for the zombie that's probably the closest to you at the time and keep your eye out for those ones that jump towards you and try to get those uh, when you run out of ammo just keep clicking and then you're gonna just reload eventually uh, now the second one right here is the misty forest one so if you don't get one of the zombie survival levels as an option or you just get the ones that you already gotten then and where it says click up to unready you can click that to unready and you can ready again and then you can get a different map so we would just want to make sure that we get all four of these maps so uh this mystical forest one right here i think is actually the quickest of all four of the maps it didn't really take too long by the time this one was over i thought like maybe i had died or something but i actually just got through the whole map uh you'll know it's done usually at the end if there's a big boss guy right here that is dragging a rock and you have to shoot him a lot of times for him to die usually you're towards the end of the level so uh the next one we're gonna go for here is the uh the office version of this level so you can see we're clicking ready and unready many times because i didn't know which ones we went through and which ones we didn't so we did the misty for us. we did the uh we did the metro mayhem one already so uh now we need to find someone else something else so we're going to keep clicking ready and unready so here's a new one here that we haven't done the office escape so uh you just eventually have to get through all four of these that uh, we're going through right here so the office escape one this one uh, i'm going to speed up a little bit faster uh but this one actually took longer than any of the other ones uh as far as a recommendation for this one sometimes you're going to see like little red barrels that have little flames on them those are very helpful if you hit those at the right time they'll explode and they'll destroy a bunch of the zombies for you like that one right there i didn't actually use it right there but you can see when those zombies were coming at me it would have been a good time to utilize those uh big red barrels here in the map so uh at about this point i think i started figuring out that i can actually shoot those and explode them and they have a pretty decent radius when you hit them they will explode a lot of the zombies pretty much on both sides almost every zombie that's coming for you at the time those things will explode them for you so make sure you make good use of those and just get through all of these zombies here uh also i lost a lot of life early on so make sure you get any of those health bars that come through because you're going to need them so the last one right here is the deserted man mansion this is the fourth of them you don't have to go through them in the same order i go through you just need to get through all four of these maps eventually and then after you get through all four of those that's basically basically what you have to do to get the badge for this item so um you can see this is just like the other levels we're going to speed it up uh you can see sometimes we get better weapons that will pop up utilize getting those better weapons if you can because usually those are pretty powerful and uh they will do quicker damage to these zombies when they're coming at you especially these ones that like to jump at your face uh when you're not ready for it so uh now you can see right here we're at this boss guy and we're just gonna kill him and now that he's out then we're done we've gotten now through all four of these so you see there we've got the badge on the bottom right hand corner of the screen for the soda drinking hat and then now that we've got the badge we've got the item in our inventory so that's all you have to do to get that item guys and if you're new here make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell thanks for watching and we'll talk to you guys later